So in the next uh, set of papers, you already solved the problem. Now you have an algorithm that is gonna look at an image and it's gonna tell you these are the objects inside that image. You already solved the problem, but we are not happy with the solution because it is slow, because you have to take an image, use an external algorithm, which is a selective search, come up with the proposal, warp the images, push them through CNN multiple times, 2000 times you're calling these operations and it's gonna end up being super slow. And you want to apply this algorithm in real time on videos. Now it's about making things faster. One of them is you can postpone the cropping or don't even do it until your convolutional layers. Just take your image, push it through your convolution only once, and then uh, do some pooling operations over the feature maps that are coming out of your convolution. And that's gonna give you some neural networks to work with. I think it's gonna be clear if I show you this one, other one. You take your image, you push it through your architecture. So now all of these layers, you're doing them only once per each image, all of these comp computations. You end up with a feature map. Now your proposal, which is a still a selective search, is gonna give you some proposed bounding boxes. We know the receptive field after all of these convolutions, we actually know what is gonna be the strike. If you take a big box here, it's gonna get a smaller on the feature dimension or the resolution of your feature maps. You can take that and these could end up having different sizes. You can take that average amount, global average pooling, you divide it into four, do global average pooling per each bin that you created or do it even more times. This is this. 16 times, concatenate everything, and then put on top of that a fully convolution, fully connected network. Now, what is the idea here? You don't need to crop and warp. You don't need to call your convolutional layers thousands of times. You just need to take your image, push it through your convolutional operation, stop at the feature layer, and then from this point on, do these operations thousands of times. And this is gonna end up being much faster. That's how you're saving computations. Any questions about this one? This was an assignment for you to watch this video. Okay, perfect.